fraud and malfeasance in our government, especially towards a population that has earned the most excellence that we can possibly deliver in health care and other benefits, but that it seems to correspond and corroborate stories that we hear in other parts of the country, including in El Paso. And it is at every single one of these veterans town halls that I've heard stories from veterans such as yourselves about the high quality of health care you get when you're able to see a provider at the El Paso VHA, but the very low probability that you're going to be able to get in to see somebody in the first place and not have that appointment if you're able to obtain one canceled and rescheduled over again to the point that you give up and you stop trying to go. Those are the anecdotal stories that I've heard since I've been in office, even before I got into office, when I was knocking on your door to ask for your vote to get here in the first place. Uh, and hearing a somewhat different story from the VHA about the level of access, the speed at which we're able to see veterans, and because of that discrepancy,